Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again in Ark Survival Evolved here on the Booming Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good day. My day is going pretty darn well, and I am getting ready to smelt up some metal. So we've got a good chunk of metal in there. Let's see, do I have any wood stash over here? I do. I have some wood stash over here. Uh, that should work out. You can also see that we have a lot, a lot, a lot of feces in our uh, possession so we are going to head back over to the chitin cave the cave by the volcano and uh, we are going to try our hand again at taming something cool we are going to try our hand at taming the dung beetle again and uh, see you know how they are for for taming or you know how tough they might be and uh yeah, so that's going to be our plan for today. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. Uh, again, I want to say thank you for all the support on the videos lately. You guys have been doing fantastic. Especially that video we did with Maz. You guys killed it there. Uh, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. If you guys want to check out some other cool series, Scrap Mechanic right now is actually so much fun. Been having a blast with it. Uh, it came out like two days ago, and I've already got, I want to say, like eight episodes out. Um, it might be more or less than that, but I might be exaggerating, but I've been recording that game like crazy. Uh, Crashlands is another good one. I talked about that the other day as well, and I'll be sure to put those in the cards. I know I forgot last time, and thank you guys for pointing that out. I appreciate it. But uh, I want to address something else here while we run down, uh, and that is flyers. A lot of you guys have been asking me, Drax, why don't you get a flyer? Why don't you... Is that a... No, that's a T-Rex. I was gonna say, is that a Giga? Oh my God, uh, I would have been, I would have been scared. But um, it's not a Giga. It's just a T-Rex. I ain't scared of no T-Rex. I ain't scared of no T-Rex. It's only a 116 too. Yeah, that's that's not gonna be bad at all. You think we can kill a 116? I mean, that's gonna be some good XP if we can. I mean, we're getting hurt pretty bad. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh boy. It was it's pretty badly hurt, but uh, so are we. So we're gonna we're gonna keep on moving. 116 T-Rex might be a little bit much for our saber, but uh, I think that has to do with a lot of the balances they did in the last couple patches, which I completely agree with, actually. Uh, I like a lot of the balances they did. Uh, I think they're they're pretty good. You're all the way up there. Let's see if we can we kill it from here. Let's see if we can. I don't know. A lot of you guys have been asking me to um, to get uh, a flyer, and I I just I don't necessarily want uh, a flyer this season. Uh, not yet, at least. I will get a flyer. I'll probably get a Quetz and a Pterodon and all that. Uh, the only reason I'm actually considering getting a Pterodon or anything at this time is so I can meet up with other people easier. But, you know, that's kind of the... We have this Saber, and this Saber is actually really fast. The Carno we have is really fast. Uh, so, we, you know, we don't have too many issues when it comes to that receiving remote inventory. Let me in my inventory! There's nothing in my inventory. Um... Okay, so I'm curious. Can I get close enough to shoot it with this? Run away. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of scared of the T-Rex um, because I, I don't think it could, but I feel like it could probably eat us in one little bite. So we don't want that. Uh, it's, it's kind of actually trying to run away, which... It's a little crazy. Having a little bit of stuttering. Not sure what that is. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. Oh, there's another one. Oh, man. All right. Yep. Let's get out of here. There's two of them. If there wasn't two of them, I'd try and take it. I'd try and finish it off. But uh, there's two of them. And I don't think I can handle two. All right. So I'm going to finish working my way down to the Chitin Cave. And uh, we're going to try and tame us up a dung beetle. Ah, oh, Stego. 
Well, guys, there's a Giga. <laughs> um, I saw it out of the corner of my eye. It's a level 20 male Giganotosaurus. Holy mackerel. That is terrifying to see one of those guys coming out of the corner of your eye and uh, kind of see them coming your direction. It is definitely, definitely scary. Looks like he's a little stuck. Like, I wouldn't have seen him. Um, if he... Oh, God. Um, if he would have been just a, a little bit different of a spot, I don't think I ever would have saw him. And uh, he could have probably one-shot me and my saber uh, if I had to guess. But uh, we're not going to stick around here too much longer. This, uh, you know, I got to say... Ooh, big poop. I got to say that traveling on land is a lot of fun. Um, traveling on land is much more dangerous. I will say that as well. I think it's uh, way, way, way more dangerous than uh, than flying. And of course, I mean, you're going to run into way more dinos and everything. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's funny how much more you see, how many more alphas you see, how many more gigas you see. Like, I mean, because you're just, you're on their level constantly on their level so i don't even know if you had a big dino like uh, a, a rex or anything that moves slightly fast um, i'm getting a lot of bounce back here so i don't know what's going on a little bit of lag here must have crossed a, a world line or something um but yeah it's definitely it's definitely crazy but it's it's fun too it's definitely a lot more fun to run along the ground into uh just kind of experience it. So we're here to the Chitin Cave. So this should be interesting. We're going to head in. I'm going to go ahead and Gamma 3 before we go inside. And then we'll sit here. We'll wait for the cave to load. There it is. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now we're going to keep our eye out for a uh, dung beetle. And then we have uh, plenty of feces to go around. I hope I have enough. I looked it up on survive-arc.com. I uh, looked in dung beetle, uh, typed in, I typed in a 120, even though I doubt we're going to find a 120. And I typed in our uh, taming multiplier, which is six. And it said it would only take eight uh, medium uh, uh, fecal matter for a dung beetle. So that could be pretty good. I think we'll, we'll be just fine there. This, on the other hand, is shenanigans, just plain shenaniganery uh, that we're going to die from. Holy cow. Up and out, up and out, up and out. Whoa. We just got bombarded like never before. Okay. I'm going to take a second. All right. So after recovering and clearing that first little section, which was kind of crazy, actually, I had to go at it about two or three times trying to lure the bats up and away. I don't think I've ever been down that way. Is there anything good down there? I don't think so. But yeah, after clearing the bats out and everything, I was able to make it through. And uh, we're going to come down here just a bit deeper and see. Oh, there's a Ranios. There they are. The Pulmono Scorpius, I think, that and the bats, those are by far our toughest enemies down here. Uh, just because of the way the uh, the Pulmono Scorpius just hit really hard, and they're they're not weak. Um, and the bats, just they're kind of hard to hit in general, so that makes them a little bit tougher than normal as well. So here's a, an Aranio. There's a Dung Beetle. But it's, it's attacking an Aranio. Alright, so we're going to try this. Uh, that's not what I wanted you to do. You stupid cat. Alright, attack the bats. I don't know what the best little bit to do with the bats is. Uh, I normally either try and circle or backpedal. Level 100, wow. Level 20, level 52, level 12. Not bad, not bad. All right, we made it through that group. Um, 700 health, like that's one of the bad things about this cat is it's so low health. 
uh, that it's it's kind of rough actually. Um, and the the melee damage isn't really high either, so that also makes it kind of hard to get through it because uh, you can't kill stuff quite as fast. But should be okay here. I'm going to do one more stack here, and then we shall go ahead and try and find a dung beetle. Uh, I don't want to kill one again this time. There's a drop down here with an Aranio. Not bad. Uh, and an apprentice slingshot. Holy cow. That Too bad that's not a blueprint. Because that is dang awesome. Um, I think Zildjian might like that. We might have to uh, pay him a visit. But let's let's look around here a little bit. Kind of getting stuck on everything. Okay, doesn't look like there's any dung beetles up this way either. I'm going to do another stack here just because I can. Another couple stacks, actually. This, this cave business, when you don't have high-powered dinos, it's actually really tough. And, you know, I, I I didn't feel the repercussions of the nerfs and the balances that they did uh, until I started doing stuff like this, where you're raising health and it only goes up by maybe, like, 90 or something like that. You know, and some of that has to do with our level, too. There's a Titan Boa, level 4. Can handle that. I don't know what level this one is. Uh, 44. Yeah, if I could just deal with Titan Boas and Aranios and Dung Beetles and all that, I would be fine. But it's the bats that get me, I think. Alright, so I hear a bat, but let's get the rest of this guy cleaned up over here. Alright, and then if I can make my way down this side... Possibly not being detected. We might, might, might just find an Aranio. Or, I'm sorry, a Dung Beetle. Okay, there's one. Let's get the uh, Aranios to me. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Here comes a bat. Oh, the bat's like really low for some reason. Oh, I feel like we're clearing out a huge area right now. All right, two more down. That is a red bat, holy cow. Is that Titan Boas in the water? All right, there's a 36 down. All right, so there's another dung beetle. I hear them. So passive. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay for the most part. Let's Let's see here. Oh, wow, that was actually a lot. I did not expect it to start taming out that much. But it looks like we might actually get a couple of these guys. We'll try for the other one here in a second. There's one down. And another one down. All right, let's do this. Um, I need to drop some stuff here. There's just a ton of raw meat. So raw meat. And we'll just drop a ton of this stuff. Because it's kind of nuts what we got. All right. So that should help us on our weight just a little bit here. I'm going to heal up and I'm going to continue to try and uh, get these guys. And then I'll be back just as soon as I'm about to finish taming one out. All right. So I think we're going to be pretty darn close here in a second. Uh, this one, there it is. We've got a dung beetle. Awesome. We'll read that dossier here in a minute. But this one's name is going to be Pooh. 
And then this one over here, let's uh, let's get this guy, and then I will make him whistle. And then we're gonna try and come down to this one again. I'm trying to get this one too. Uh, put item in last slot. And this one is gonna be due. There we go, awesome. We got a couple of dung beetles. That is pretty darn cool. Now, I don't know how hard these guys are gonna be to get back to the base. I imagine that they're gonna be uh, pretty darn difficult to do so, uh, cause it looks like they are rather slow. Um, so we'll have to keep that in mind while we're doing that. And, uh, but we got Poodoo 16 and 17, or uh, 65. Uh, 520 health, uh, 240 stamina, 300 oxygen, food, uh, gosh, nothing for weight, holy cow, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's a little crazy, let's give these guys a little snack here, they should be good with that, and then, uh, I guess we're, we'll try and work our way back out, I don't know, I don't know how easy or, and or hard this is gonna be with these guys, uh, because they, they do move so slow, but... We'll kind of find out as we go here, won't we? Oh, wow, they are really slow, aren't they? Ah, they're not terrible. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. All right, guys, we have almost made it out of this cave. It has taken me... The, the end of the last clip was 20 minutes ago. So it has taken me 20 minutes to kind of work these guys up and out of this cave. And it's it's been a nightmare to do so because they, I don't know, they're, I don't know if their tracking's weird or if the cave mechanics are just weird, but they just are not, they're just not working their way out of this cave like they should. So um, I am a little worried that uh, we're going to get out of this cave and they're going to like die immediately. Uh, because they'll get attacked, but uh, I do want to get them back to my house because I do think they're going to be really good for oil production. Um, you know, just a, a nice little passive way to have oil and uh, hopefully offset, you know, having the need to go and get it all the time. So these guys are finally out and I'm going to work, I'm going to try to work my way back to my base. Oh guys, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh, the Giga is like right there on top of us. Oh, come on, get back, get back, get back, little bugs. Get back, little bugs. No. <laughs> oh, man, we lost them both. Oh, this is not good. This is just all around bad, uh, worse, bad, bad, and more worse. Uh, that we have nothing but a Giga behind us. Oh, they were so... We, we were home free. Once we got past the Giga, it was going to be fine. Oh. Well, guys, with the rain and the clouds and everything, it is kind of fitting that uh, we lost a couple of dinos again. Uh, this time, not anything too crazy, you know, but... Uh, how are you going to keep a slow moving dino away from a Giga? You just can't do it. So that was really unfortunate. Um, they're not bad to tame though, but uh, we are definitely going to have to get a transport bird or something uh, like an RG or something. I'm, I'm thinking because it is just too dang hard to try and uh, get these guys back to our base without them dying so i think that's probably what we're going to work on next episode if you guys enjoyed please hit that like button and uh i'll see you next time